So doubles are an art. Roles and responsibilities. Sometimes, you know, we brush over really what our roles are. Okay, so we're going to go through them, each of the four roles, when we're playing doubles, right? And as we know, tennis is such a great game, socially and at the club, you've got to be able to play doubles. You want to get involved in those social events and things like that. Do, you, do we love to play doubles? I, I mean, and also Davis Cup, Fed Cup, it's how you win the ties, isn't it? And you know, interestingly also, Samantha Stoza had all her Grand Slam success first in doubles before that she went on then to win a singles Grand Slam. So back to doubles R&R. &R. In this activity, we're first going to talk about the server. So one of the first roles and responsibilities of the server is actually to make sure, I know this sounds really simple, but make sure that you have two, two tennis balls. Okay, I know that sounds so basic, but actually having it and having it ready just in case you fault, which obviously we're visualizing that first serve going in, okay, is really important, okay? So, I've got my two tennis balls. Next, I'm looking at the baseline, I'm thinking about where to stand. Does anyone know where I should stand along the baseline? Yeah, the middle between the, the middle one. The yeah, why is that? You're right, but why? We don't often ask ourselves that, do we? Yeah? We put ourselves in the middle because we want to look at the at the middle angle of the two possible returns, because obviously I've got a, my partner at the net. So, the first thing I do, my partner knows where I'm trying to aim my serve. So my first role and responsibility is I'm going to say, I'm going to aim my serve wide. Now remember in doubles, if it doesn't go there, it doesn't matter. Okay, all right, so Lorraine, if I was playing together, if I, if I said I was going to serve wide and I miss, are you okay with that? Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, but I do think it is important that you actually do focus for me, where the attention goes, the energy flows. Okay, so I'm still gonna tell you I'm aiming wide. So I'm aiming wide, and my job as the server is to try and get as many first serves in as I can. Sound pretty simple? That's the role of the server. So now we're looking at the server's partner. So as we know, again, if we're a team, okay, so we already know, I already know where you're gonna serve the ball. So wide body or teeth. So I, I like that too, just so as my the service partner, I know where you're roughly trying to serve the ball. And remember, if it doesn't go there, it doesn't matter. So what's my role here? So first of all, again, my standing position. So we'll find when people first play doubles, they tend to gravitate and hover, I don't know if anyone can relate, towards the tram lines here, okay? So your first role is you don't want to be just a spectator. Remember, you're a player as well, okay? So get involved. So one of my rules of thumb, there's like a big step over, okay, and then a side skip, okay? So just a really nice position to be in. Because if I take one side skip and I go to play the volley and I drop my racket, okay, if the player down the other end can hit a winner in that, that much court, then that's too good, okay? My next role is if I don't get sidelined once a game, I'm not doing my job, okay? That might sound a little bit extreme, but remember, you want to get involved in that cross-court rally and try and block block off the rally, that's your role, that's your responsibility. So keep the eyes forward, can't get it. Keep, and then if you can, try and cut off that interception. If we cross the midline as a service partner, then often we'll switch with our partner. So again, if you were my partner, I go to cross, I make that volley and I cross the middle line here, switch, you go in behind me. Same with the lob. See that lob, if I feel like I can take it, I'm gonna call mine. If I don't, straight away, switch. It's both our roles, the server and the service partner, to be able to call switch as soon as we can so we're really clear on where we need to stand. Sound good? So now we're covering the role of the returner, okay? Really important role here. First of all, again, let's talk about the standing position, okay? So you'll find often on the juice court, people will want to protect one side of their body. I'm a big believer in just love both sides of your body as much as possible. So a good rule of thumb is standing on the singles line, just take a big step over and then angle your hips so you're actually facing the server. A lot of people still stand very, their hips forward. I really love getting that body in the direction and that angle that the ball's coming towards you. Okay, so we're on there, one big step over and then angle my hips into that ready position. Okay, so it really makes that box feel a little bit smaller as well by doing that. So I've got my return position. Now my goal here, okay, is to make the return. Now I know that sounds easy, but again, it's a bit like a double fault, isn't it? If I, if, as long as I've got time, okay, 
the best place to return, of course, being cross court. But depending on the score and depending on what's happening with the flow of the match, I could lob, I could go down the line, or I could go cross. So I've got those three choices available to me. I know when I used to play doubles, my partner and I, if I missed a return, the next person, no matter what, had to make that cross court return. There's a bit of an unspoken rule. We had, it was like we had each other's back, okay, to play that high percentage return cross court. Okay, pretty straightforward. That's the role of the returner. Finally, the returner's partner. Also, really important roles and responsibilities. So again, we've met in the hotspot. I already know you're my partner. You've told me you're gonna return cross or the lob or down the line. So that's the first thing. So I know what your tactic is or your power plan. So once that happens, my next role from this position here, you'll notice again, my hips are angled and facing the volley player over there. So the server's partner. When the serve comes in, one of my first roles is to call the fault. Cause I've got, you know, almost like Hawkeye. I'm like right on the line here and I can quickly call the fault. I don't need to watch my partner Lorraine return the ball, but I can quickly call that fault. So that's a, one of the first roles and one of the important things of standing near this line. Also, the returner's partner, by standing here, it makes the server feel like they've got less room to serve into. So it's like you're squeezing the box, because if I stand over here, visually the box feels bigger for the server, a little bit easier. Just by me standing here, Again, it squeezes that box. So that's another one of my roles. Okay, but now comes the really important part. So I know that Lorraine's gonna return the ball cross court because we've met in the hotspot, she's told me her, t her plan. What I need to do, as soon as the serve goes in, I have to watch that part that the, the server's partner. If they get excited like they're gonna volley, okay, then I stand my ground and I save the team. All right, if I can almost pick up the ball in my, in my peripheral vision, and, it's, and I feel it's gonna go cross and the service partner is just staying in that position, what I then need to do is move up to the net by the time that player makes contact or hopefully even by the time it bounces. So, Lorraine's ball's gone cross court, I'm in. And get that split step so that then I can actively again get involved in the rally and try and cut off that volley. So moving in quickly is important. So depending on your um, physical or developmental readiness and needs, you might stand a little bit more forward depending on how comfortable you feel of being able to sprint into that position by the time the ball bounces down that end so you're ready to get involved in the rally again and try and cut it off. Sound like a plan?